Stabihoon. The Stabihoon or Stabish is one of the top five rarest dog breeds in the world. It is from Friesland and in particular from the Frisian Forest area, a region in the southeast and east of Friesland. The breed has been mentioned in Dutch literature going back to the early 1800s, but has only extended its range from the 1960s outside of Friesland and not until the 2000s did the range officially extend beyond the Netherlands. The name Stabish translates roughly as Stand By Me with the last part simply Frisian, meaning dog, which is pronounced hoon. The dog is considered a Dutch national treasure. There are only a few thousand Staby hounds in existence today worldwide. History Origins The Staby hoon is found in historic literature from Joost Halbertsema, Wailing Dijkstra and Nink van Heidem dating back to the early 1800s. In earlier days it was used for hunting foxes, small game, and birds. While on farms, Staby hounds exhibited fine skills as a mole catcher. During the hunting season, it was used as an all-round gun dog. Dot today, the Stabihoon remains a competent hunter, although British and German breeds are more popular. Renowned for its peaceful disposition, the Stabish is a soft-mouthed retriever, a fine pointer, excellent tracker, and a good watchdog. It has also been used by dairy farmers as a cart dog. Historically, these dogs were nearly exclusively owned by farmers, whose limited financial means dictated the need for a single farm dog capable as an all-around working, hunting, garden gentle house breed. The breed's appearance and purpose have not changed. In order to optimize the working traits of the working farm dog in earlier days the Stabihoon was often mixed with another old and rare Frisian breed, the Wetterhoon. However, in 1942 Stabige owners organized for official breed recognition and crossbreeding between the Stabihoon and Wetterhoon was halted in an effort to prevent the extinction of the increasingly rare breeds. Today the Stabihoon enjoys a small but thoroughly devoted following among Dutch sportsmen and homeowners. Its numbers are increasing slowly but steadily. This breed has caught the attention of dog lovers in the United Kingdom, Scandinavia, and North America. The Working Stabihoon Historically, the Stabihoon was an all-around working dog for a farmer that might be only able to afford and support a single dog that was required to be an all-around able worker that shared the home. Apart from hunting, these dogs were used to guard property and to catch rats, moles, and bunsing. This versatility is still reflected in the breed today. It is also this lack of a working specialization, the Stabish's generalization an all-rounder but not an expert at any particular skill that caused the breed to not be as sought after traditionally. The Stabihoon is both a soft-mouthed retriever and a pointer with a strong tracking nose. It works very well on water, enduring the coldest rivers and lakes and is easily controlled over greater distances. It brings in any game alive and undamaged. Although of medium build and size, it is a powerful and sturdy dog, and larger staby hounds of the past were occasionally used as draft animals to pull dog carts. The staby hoon is now used in almost all types of dog trials and activities, dog agility, obedience, hunting, triathlon, endurance, frisbee, and others. Description Temperament the Stabihoon has a gentle disposition. This breed is friendly, sensitive, intelligent, peaceful, patient, and willing to please, but may be stubborn on occasion. The Stabihoon exhibits great tolerance of children and other animals. With steady yet gentle training, this breed will be obedient and devoted to its owner. Stabihounds should never be vicious or snappy. Although a Stabihoon can be very calm indoors, like all sporting breeds it enjoys plenty of physical activity. Staby hounds like to swim. Appearance Sturdily built with a soft silky coat, the Staby hoon is greater in length than height. It should be of good physical scale and balance and neither muscular nor slender in build. Feminine and masculine differences in facial features are distinct and easily distinguished between the sexes. Coat Most Staby hounds have a black and white colored coat with often a solid fully colored, usually black, head and white tip tail. Dot brown and white Staby hounds are less common, but may be seen in the Netherlands, while the orange and white-coated Staby hounds are becoming increasingly rare. Spotting and or roan in the white are acceptable, but tricolor is considered a fault. Males are 53 cm, 21 in, and females are 50 cm, 20 in, measured at the withers. The ideal weight of a Staby hoon is 45 pounds, 20 kg, for a female and 50 to 55 pounds, 23 to 25 kg, for a male. Head the head should show more length than width, with the skull and foreface equally long. The hair on the head is short. The skull should be slightly domed, 
but not narrow, and may never give the impression of being wide. The head is carried low on a strong, slightly arched neck. The stop is only slightly indicated. The foreface is powerful, tapering gently toward the nose without giving the appearance of a point. The bridge is straight and the muzzle is broad with a nose that is well developed and has wide nostrils. Lips are tight and cover the teeth, which are strong and have a scissor bite. Dot the neck should be free of throatiness or dewlap. The expression of the face should always be gentle and intelligent. The ears are set fairly low, medium in size, and are strongly developed. The ears project from the head, and are moderately long and shaped like a mason's trowel. Feathering on the ears is typical, with hair growing longer at the base of the ear and steadily decreasing in length. The bottommost third of the ear is covered with short hair. The eyes should lie level in the head, and be of medium size with tight rounded lids. There should not be the appearance of haw or a third eyelid. Dogs with black and white coats should have dark brown eyes, while brown and white stabie hounds may have brown or orange colored eyes. Bird of prey eyes are considered to be a fault. Body the stabie hoon's coat is long and sleek. Although a slight wave over the croup is permissible, it should never be curly. The hair behind a stabie hoon's front and rear quarters is longer and fuller, but should never feather. Doubt any curling of the coat suggests that crossbreeding has occurred in a dog's line, and for this reason cannot be considered a purebred stabie hoon. A stabie hoon's body should be powerful with well-rounded ribs. Its back is straight with the croup sloping slightly. The loin is powerful and the belly is only moderately tucked up. The tail is long, reaching to the hock. It is set low and carried downwards with a gentle bend upwards toward the tip of the tail. In action, the tail is lifted, but never so as to curl. Like the hair behind a stabie hoon's front and rear quarters, the tail hair should be long, full, and bushy. However, the tail hair should not feather. The shoulder is well laid against the chest, the blades well laid back and angulated. The lower forequarters should be powerful and straight, Likewise the forelegs straight. A stabie hoon's pastern should be strong. The hindquarters are powerful and well angulated with a low placed hock. The feet should be round and rather big, with toes that are well developed and arched. Dada stabie hoon should have thick pads. Health. A relatively healthy breed with no current common health issues, the average lifespan of a stabie hoon is 13 to 15 years. Diet, exercise. Care and environment are currently the factors of greatest overall influence on the breed's health and lifespan. The Stabie Hoon is an overall a healthy dog. Known congenital health conditions in the breed are patent ductus arteriosus, PDA, epilepsy, elbow dysplasia, hip dysplasia and type 1 von Willebrand's disease, VWB. Other conditions recorded are radius curvus, hereditary cataracts, steroid-responsive meningitis arteritis, SRMA, and nonspecific cancer. The heritability of these conditions is uncertain, on, but with careful breeding, most of these problems were eliminated. Epilepsy occurred in the past, but is no longer a common genetic inheritance. Care. The stabie hoon does not require special care apart from regular brushing to minimize tangling. The dog's mold, shed, twice a year, and thorough brushing helps the process of shedding. Dot without brushing. Stabie hoon hair can get tangled and matted in the manner of dreadlocks. The hair behind the ears is particularly susceptible to tangling and matting. Washing with soap should be avoided when possible because soap strips the coat of its natural oils and shine. The stabie hoon coat will naturally rid itself of dirt and mud. After a swim the dog is usually clean and dry in a matter of hours. Breeding Due to the limited size of the stabie hoon population, careful breeding is essential. The Dutch Association for Stabie Hounds and Wetterhounds, Nederlands of Verneiging voor Stabies and Wetterhounden slash MVSW, the American Stabie Hoon Association and the UK Stabie Hoon Association has breed advisors who assist with mating selections. In an effort to control inbreeding, the association keeps breeding at a minimum and carefully considers prospective matings. Despite there being small populations of Stabie Hounds outside of the Netherlands, the breeding population is small and the greatest genetic diversity remains in the Netherlands. Since Stabie Hounds are viewed as part of the Dutch national heritage, breeders keep puppy and dog prices affordable, Stabie Hoon breeders are commonly hobby breeders as a result. The average Stabie Hoon litter size is 7. Bitches are limited to delivering no more than 5 litters in their lifetime. The bitch may only reproduce when she reaches a minimum age of 18 months, and cannot breed when she reaches the age of 9. At least one year should elapse between litters. The hips of prospective mating pair have to be x-rayed, not over FCIC result, and the match between bitch and stud has to be approved by the Dutch club's breeding committee. 
A stud must be 18 months of age or older to breed, and it must have with the same show and hip results as its female mate. Stud dogs should not sire more than 3 litters a year, and 10 in their lifetime. Stud owners are expected to appear on breeders' days so that the dogs may be evaluated and paired with potentially suitable mates may be evaluated and paired with potentially suitable mates.